Taco <laughs> Bell, I mean. Yeah. Breakfast uh, for champions. The home I understand, and this is where Bill grew up with his grandpa from the age of about six. And they used to walk from here where the house burnt down. They would go up this road to the church up here, White Hall Bible Church. They would do this mile walk on Sundays. It's a good church. White Hall Bible Church. said that there was a uh, big rash of church burnings in this area. Hmm. I meant to look it up. <coughs> Somebody arsoning. At one point there was a bunch of church burnings. Mm -mm. Yeah. Cellar, whatever you want to call it, that white one, uh -huh. and then a pig stall. Okay. And you can see the wheel by the feed thing. That's his grandpa's mule pole uh, okay. cultivator. Then that picture of the mules mm. pole in the house that right there. You can see that was the back stoop. Oh that yeah, cement right there. Yep. So that's well, the, that's the layout. It's gonna be muddy, but we'll see what we can find and. Yep, hopefully we'll find some good stuff for Bill to put in his little museum and pass on to family. So I'm gonna cut this off for a minute while we get to going here. Tech room, barn. The big walnut tree. And supposedly there was, this is where they just dump their coal, they burn coal. There was a big limb back here on this side. This is where they had the big vat for the pigs every Thanksgiving. That's the smokehouse over there. House set there. Newer barn back there. I take it that's an outhouse. I haven't been over to it. Um, yep, so this is a garage they built for, just for that 1947 car, the first car. This was their feed uh, feed house with the uh, the pillars, so the rats couldn't get up to get the feed. Here's his grandpa's cultivator that they would uh, he would uh, cultivate with the mules. Yep. Yes, sir. Had the pigs here.
and this is uh his grandpa built this and he put sawdust in the in between to insulate it different one. Is that what it says? I've never seen yeah. one with the... Mm-hmm. make so many different ones. So yeah, his grandpa did this. Saw, saw mill cut wood. Yeah, all the, yeah, that's the trip. Made the walls extra thick too. Saw this to go in. You can cool and make it cool all summer and keep it completely. Yep. Ain't that something? That's a smart way to do the uh, outhouse. Didn't have to move it around much. It's right on the creek. So, sorry I didn't show you right away, but uh, just too many signals. Taking too much trash, but uh, this is kind of cool. I would say these are haircutting scissors. So that'll definitely be a family family thing and they're all together so that's pretty cool all right as you can imagine with all the house burning and all the stuff being pushed there's lots of trash so i've dug lots of trash but uh, this is my first good signal this is going to be part of a part of a stirrup so total brass so this is something that uh, bill will Bill's family were really like for the Hillises. So that's some good old history for them. Broke there, broke there. It's an awesome start. I'm the Jeep man today. <clears throat> this is my second Hot Wheels Jeep. This is a big one. Time of year you need to watch out for snakes, Tim. Woo, buddy. Well, Look at the size of that skin right there. That is about. And, and Tim's six foot two. I'm just kidding. I'm 5'8". I'm 5'8". That's touching the ground right there. So that thing's about six and a half foot long. Yeah, that's a big one. So we decided we need to go with the sniper coils. That's what we got them for. So much trash. So we're hooking them up and we'll see how we do. Since there's so much trash and this house burnt, uh, should make a difference. Lots of trash to dig through, lots of aluminum signals. I'm taking a little sip break, a little lunch break. I'm having a, it's a combination of leftover, uh-oh, Ron just found something. He's getting all excited. I was going to talk to you about my leftover fried rice and my oriental lop, chicken lop. It's a spicy cold chicken and lettuce, and I made a wrap out of it. So since it's fried rice and lop, I'm calling it flop. Yes, sir. What is it? Ron has an Indian penny. Awesome. I'm sitting here eating my flop, and he's finding Indians. Awesome. We just put our sniper coils on because there's so much garbage and paid off. 
sniper coil does the trick. Well, I'm very happy because I dug a couple things of aluminum out there. Tim's still over there getting his put together. I just pulled out of this hole something really green. And I'm thinking I see an Indian on there. So I will clean it up and we'll see exactly what it is. I'm pretty sure this is part of a wagon, off of a wagon yoke or guessing. All right, some more horse tech. So that's good. Digging iron. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of a handle off of something for sure. Got another coin, but I'm not sure what it is yet, so I'm going to pop it out of the plug here. It is a Lincoln, so I don't know. I'll get a trifecta if I can see that it's a weedy, maybe. There's a plug. And it is a weedy. So that's my first weedy for the uh, day. Rain's God. I'll see it better when I get it cleaned up. Well, I think we're pretty much done. Just wore out. Tim got him a door lock. Looks like a couple of Jeeps. Don't know, that can't be a Rain's God. It's gotta be some sort of a handle or pin. A yoke thing. He's got several rings for horse tack. Got that cool uh, knife. Some clad pennies. Nice old rivet for horse tack. We got all kinds of iron. Hey, scissors, hinge. Spur was cool too. Got some more horse tack. File, not sure. Uh, scissors for cutting hair. Indian pen, head penny was cool. A couple of Wheaties. This here says uh, Jupiter. You got a piece of old bottle, but uh, I think that's about it, man. That's about all we could out. do today. Yep. Boy, we dug a bunch of targets because, uh, I mean, it's just really trashy. It's muddy, too. So we're going to get this all cleaned up and get it to Bill and to the Hillis family. Yeah. And uh, for this property gets sold tomorrow. So uh, I guess we will catch you on the next one. Up, yeah. All right, just waiting for Tim. He should be here in a few minutes. He's uh, he's coming to uh, go over to Bill's. We're gonna take him the uh, stuff that uh, we got. I cleaned a couple of mason jars and the stuff we found. We're gonna take over to Bill's so you can see what we found over at uh, his grandpa's house. <laughs> Now these plants are from uh, there. out there. Yeah, yeah. some of the buttercups from there. I didn't know if uh, Pat might want those, if you guys might want those. Yeah, she's got them everywhere. She's skating way back. Looks like those might be white, white ones. They are. Yeah. I don't remember them, you know, from the kid. They look like a smaller yeah. flower on there, so that's probably an heirloom yeah. buttercup. I'm going to do a couple of them uh, yeah. ball jars. Cleaned up some of those out of the shed. Yeah. There was some green beans in there, looked almost good enough to eat hey, still. Listen, I can remember my granddad. She got stable hands at the time I was six months old until I was seven years old. And I remember him building that can house. Mm -hmm. That can house is two by six. Wall yep. studs, Thick. full of sawdust. Got yep. tongue and groove oak on the wow. inside, rough wow. set up, rough, that's rough a, cut that's oak. That's story on. right there in its own. Yeah. And that, uh, uh, Rat proof crib. Yeah. Down the road about three miles, granddaddy had a brother. And they built him. We seen the one down the road. Saw the one down the road, and I thought, well, I've never seen them that, put steel pilings in like that. Right. But I realized when we got over to your old place, it's right. it's clay that's tile. Right. Now, where did that come from? Now, they came from the mountains. Uh, well, I said Mountains Crane Hill, Rocky mm -hmm. River Valley. Mm -hmm. It's where they all originated from uh but uh, yeah well, that's neat we gotta, we gotta 
we found a few artifacts. We couldn't get your wheel off. Yeah. If we I'd had to, a saw, but the, uh, this is off your grandpa's cultivator. Okay, okay. If I'd had a sawzall, yeah, we we'd have had, we'd had one of those wheels in this truck. Okay, but I couldn't. We, we couldn't. Could. We didn't have the tools and stuff. Okay. So this here is all various horse tech. That's all old stuff there. That's that's all various. That's probably back eighteen yeah. hundreds horse tech, late eighteen hundreds. Don't know. Look at the end of that. See, see if you got any idea. You tell us if you got some ideas. That was that was under that walnut tree. It was to the left of the walnut tree. <laughs> it looks tree like a key facing. end, but it ain't no key. It's a handle it's to a something handle or some or? kind of a pull on a, on an implement or something. I'll tell you, I'd like to get a bunch of pictures, you guys, and all this. Is that a Zippo? It's yeah, a Zippo. it's old Zippo I found. I cleaned it up hoping there was some engraving on it or something, but couldn't find none. I didn't see none. We brought some flowers from the house site for you. Oh, well, thank you. I dug up some of the buttercups before we got out of there. Okay. Doing all right, well, thank you. But it's good to see you. Well, thank you. So you think you could have got your hair cut with them when you was a kid? I'd been, been ready, wasn't it? Where was that old spur you was talking about? Right here now. This could be Part of possibly the Civil War. See the ornateness there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes they come down to an eagle head or, you know, they have the barrel okay. down here. It doesn't have U.S. on it. Not that we saw. But it's definitely old. I wish we'd had more so time because there was so many. That's a nice old yeah. spur right there. There's so many signals there because the it's aluminum just, that yeah, melted. So and yeah. When the house signals. burnt, there's pieces yeah. of aluminum and stuff that had melted. Yeah. So we get a lot of good signals, but out of what we dug here, we probably dug a, a couple bucketfuls of Oh, aluminum. yeah, we probably dug at least 150 signals each at least, yeah. probably. You saw the penny there. Yeah. yeah. Yep, so an 1890 Indian. 1890 Indian. Indian. All right, well, I'm gonna try this again now with the battery. So, we got uh, several of the folks from the Melbourne Tech Club. We got Tim, we got Kevin, we got Chet and Jack back here getting ready. But we're gonna hit this one more time before it grows up, which is already growing up. Uh, see if we can find some more uh, more stuff for Bill and his family for the Hell's family. I don't know Chet, but we know Chet. And I was way over there and I heard him yell, gun barrel. And we knew it wasn't no gun barrel. <laughs> it's close. I've seen Mr. Chet carrying all kinds of stuff from over under that tree. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. I always like finding axes and hatchets yeah. and that. You're firing it so much, man. You know what one of them are, don't you? What's that? It's uh, uh, in your windows, you had ropes. Oh yeah, yeah, the window weights, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, the old window weights, yes sir. What that bugger is? Yep, I've changed out some of them in my lifetime. Yeah, yeah. Tied ropes back on them. <laughs> Get the windows working. Find anything interesting? That's a big old bolt. And a piece of chain. That's interesting. I always love chain, man. Yeah. Not the chain gang. <laughs> oh, I see you found a flipper. <laughs> Finding clad. <laughs> yeah, I found a dime and a penny clad. That's all I found so far. Dug two dimes there. Uh, two memorials. Yeah, we got like, uh, I want to say 10 or 13 memorials last time we was here. That's about it, it for clad, but. Like Nugget and I could say, stinking Lincolns. Stinking Lincolns, <laughs> man. They're all over the place. But there's a lot of trash around. There's there's good stuff in between if we can find it. That's the thing. Yeah. There's just so many signals. I went over that way. And, uh, boy, that's a pretty good sized pond over there. It is. Tim marked the cistern for the new owner and then marked the other one up there too. So okay. he wanted to know where they were. 